a terrible thing. Uh, my daughter goes to that school, and she really, she really likes it. Bad news for Willis Bibbins, who lives a block away from Brown Elementary. Great school. It's a great school. I moved here just for my daughter to go to that school, so. You think it should be closed down? No, no, no. But Brown Elementary is one of four Jackson schools being shut down at the end of the school year. JPS says Brown, George, and French Elementary schools have fewer than 200 students and repair price tags of almost $3 million each. Woodville Heights has more students and a repair list costing more than $4 million. Kimley Mentor is a teacher at French Elementary. Bittersweet, and I'm going to miss the school, I'm going to miss the students, and, you know, this is a small school, small setting. You know, we are kind of like everybody work together. We feel confident uh, that we can place all of our employees. JPS says it will be able to move students and teachers to other schools nearby. The district's attendance has dropped almost 6,000 in the past 10 years. And what we found when we looked at these buildings, is there was nearly $14 million worth of infrastructure needs. Um, these were in buildings that in most instances had fewer than 200 kids. JPS won't say how much it could save from closing the four schools. George Elementary's budget for this school year was $1.5 million. The superintendent says Woodville Heights was $2.5 million. He says the district is looking at other ways to make cuts, but these are the first. There's no nothing off the table, uh, but uh, what's happening in the classroom. Again, we will maintain our levels of uh, classroom size. Our classroom sizes won't increase. We're committed to that.